a few moments later. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel if you are a new subscriber and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Jay Jack and I'm about to show y'all what's on my iPhone. Let me turn on Do Not Disturb because I feel like some people are going to be testing me. So basically in my iPhone, I like by like, all my apps to be organized in folders. I do not like apps all over my screen. I know I've seen a lot of videos and it's like how to have an aesthetic iPhone, but that's not me. But anyways, regardless. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the apps that I do not have in a folder are the most important apps that I use on this first screen. So that would be like in the dock, I have my phone, my messages, camera and safari those are like what i use almost all the time so it's just easier for me to access it just click it in the dock so that's why they're down there uh facetime is not in the dock because i mean you can only have four items down there but i do use that one a lot so that's why that one is there but so let's get to the first folder which will be photography i'm not going to tell y'all like every single app but I will tell you like my most used apps that I have on here. So for the photography, I have my photos, which is heavily used. I probably have like 4,000 4, items from photos and videos combined. Photo Grid, I use that for Instagram. Like if I need to put a photo, like crop it. I use Aviary to edit some of my Instagram pictures. Fonto, I use Fonto a lot. That's for my thumbnails. Um, sometimes to make something that's in my intro, outro, sometimes my titles. So that's a heavily used item. I'll do it on my phone and then I'll airdrop it to my computer. So that's how I do that. Pixar is how I like outline my pictures for my thumbnails or um, I'll get like backgrounds or stickers from there. So that's that. Documents. That's what I use to like save something if I'm saving like a green screen from YouTube like on my phone or I need to save a song, I'll save it in documents and then that way I can airdrop it to my MacBook. 1967, y'all, this is a cool app. Uh, it's just basically where you can put like a very vintage um, filter on your photos. And they have so many guys, like, it's crazy. And you can change, like, the texture of it to make it, like, more or less. And they have just different options. So that's that. Eraser, that's a highly used app. That app is used for uh, background photos. YouTube Studio, I use that for you guys to look at my analytics new subscribers, views, comments, all of that. We Heart is for backgrounds. And that's it for that album. The rest of the stuff is like, I may use it for a thing or two, like for an intro or something, but I don't even use it that often, so it doesn't even matter. Travel, I use my weather apps all the time because I have to know what the weather's like. I have to be prepared when I'm getting dressed. Maps, I use Apple Maps, but sometimes it really gets on my nerves because Siri be getting me off track and she be doing too much and then I use my news apps a lot just so I can stay up to date with what's going on in the world and locally you know you gotta look I don't watch the TV news so I have to look to see what's really going on so for the utilities folder I use my notes the most that's where I jot down like any of my ideas if I need to put down a quick number why people be like yeah pen and paper and I'm like mm-hmm notes um, that's just for anything I need to jot down, jot down, honestly. That's what I use notes for. My clock is important. I have a lot of alarms. No cap. <laughs> and Apple TV, I do not use it at the moment, but I am going to start using it because when I got this phone from Apple, the lady was telling me that since I got it, um, from there, basically I will get a free one year Apple TV subscription. So, you know, if y'all looking in for a new phone and or if you want Apple TV, then go get an iPhone from Apple and you'll get a free one year uh, Apple TV subscription. 
productivity this folder is used a lot for my mail so gmail is for obviously personal professional email accounts youtube i use i'm always on youtube all the time um the app store as y'all can see i probably don't i don't really update my apps like that but i do use app store a lot because i'm always downloading new things and outlooks that's my school email i said the bulk of my apps are in lifestyles on this first screen um monogram it right here i don't really use it's an app i purchased like back like my senior year in high school so i was really into monograms back then and it's so cool because that app has like so many different like wallpapers uh, monogram like designs and all of that so if y'all into that i would download that app it's only 99 cents but you can restore it on all your phones that you get and you don't ever have to purchase anything else so if y'all into that kind of stuff bank of america that's for my monies amazon i shop on amazon all the time y'all amazon has everything plus i got that prime so two-day shipping <laughs> um pc i use that a lot ladies if you have a flow put that in there you can check like symptoms and such y'all know what i mean kicks on fire i used to use a lot back in the day but i don't even really use it anymore and my main purpose for using it back then was for you know like upcoming releases of shoes so that's why espn they send me notifications all the time with my favorite team so that's a heavily used app on this folder i have founders that's for my savings, discover to pay my bill. All these network channels I don't really use, but if I'm out like somewhere and I don't have my uh, MacBook with me, I'll watch something on there. But that's very rare. I used to use it a lot when I was like lazy and didn't want to like turn on my TV. We even get into it. Ulta Beauty and Bath and Body Works. Those are for coupon purposes. Um, Ulta usually always have coupons on their app. Or they'll send me like a ad or something so I could look on that. And the Bible, they have good uh, verses of the day that usually come. And it's, it's on this next screen, like here. They usually have that, so that's a cool app. For my lifestyle, Ticketmaster. I use that all the time because I'm always going to someone's concert. So I use that a lot. Dave & Buster's. Um, that's good, y'all. If y'all go to Dave & Buster's a lot and y'all, they have I, uh, coupons on there. Sometimes they have like buy 10 credits and get 10 free or buy 25 and get so much free. That's why I use that. Regal, I use all the time. I am a rewards member, so I can scan my app and get like points and also I can redeem things for the free ski. PlayStation app. Add me, Gamertag, JJack8. It's like that. ASL, that's for me to brush up on my sign language. Sneakers, Nike, and Stadium Goods. Y'all, I would say that those are my three most used apps. I am always on sneakers to see what Nike is cooking up in the lab. Factual. They always making something. Stadium Goods, they have so many different shoes, like... If y'all don't have a Stadium Goods account or at least just have their app, check them out. They're legit. Cash app and PayPal so y'all can give me my coin. That's what that's for. Um, I use a Target for Cartwheel offers. They have some pretty good deals on there sometimes. And Walmart I use for to like check the price of things because for some reason they don't have price scanners anymore, which blows my mind. Why? Top golf is for entertainment purposes, so they may send me a coupon code. Or I can see like my game history if you ever want to see that. I don't really know why somebody would want to see that, but Carolyn's because I'm a gold pass member, so I go there a lot. So that's it for lifestyle. For music, oops, for music, I use my Apple Music. I do have an Apple Music subscription student membership discount. I do not use Spotify or the iTunes store. Disregard that. 
Um, I don't even know why I even have the apps on my phone anymore. I haven't used Spotify in a long time. I used to use it a lot, but I just felt like Apple Music uh, premium membership was a better deal. And I've just been rocking with Apple Music ever since. So there's no point. I will use Shazam if I need to like look up a song back here and it's kind of fa. I don't know the name. Shazam. And Genius for lyrics. Spanrilla was for back in the day. They used to have every single mixtape and you could just download it to your phone. It was legit. I don't even use Spanrilla anymore. It's sad. Social network. Y'all follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is legit. So yeah, follow me. That's my Insta. Yes, sir. Tumblr. I used to be on Tumblr heavy, like probably six, seven, eight years ago. I had like a really aesthetic Tumblr, Tumblr, and I had like a thing to it. Tumblr was legit. Tumblr was my like first baby where I really got creative. Um, I used to always love like getting themes and decorating my actual web page that really excite me like i really like doing stuff like that but i don't even really get on top of anymore pinterest i use a lot that's for recipes ideas like for decoration um hairstyle ideas pinterest has everything y'all need to get on pinterest if y'all not already on pinterest snapchat it's personal period <laughs> Group me, it's for groups that I'm in, but I don't even be on group me, honestly. Follow track is for Instagram, so you can follow like who's following you back or who you follow that don't follow you back and who unfollows you and such. Messenger, that's really for my Android peeps because I don't have a Facebook. So it's for my Android peeps if I need to send them a video because you know when you send iPhone videos to Androids, it don't even come in a decent fashion it's all blurry it's small and nobody has time for that second page y'all we're on the second page food because i'm a fat girl <laughs> nah but all of these apps that i have in the food section i either use it for convenience because i can order online or i use it um to get like some type of like they send me a coupon like free food or this amount off Honestly, I don't even know why I have the Blazing Rewards, Buffalo Wild Wings, and the Wendy's anymore because I do not use it at all. Or Domino's. The last time I ate a Domino's pizza, it tastes like cardboard. And I used to love Domino's. Sonic, Sonic and Chick-fil-A, I would say I use the absolute most. If you order a slushie, if y'all like slushies or drinks, off a Sonic app, you get a half price all day. It doesn't matter when you order it, so you don't have to be there from two to four, two to five. Tropical Smoothie Cafe, it's like tracking points, and you get like a free smoothie after every amount or whatever. For my etc. folder, um, I would say my most used in here. I use my books. I do have some books stored in there to that I read. I also like to use like the user guide books. Um you know for different things like the phone or the ipad and you know sometimes they come out with the one for like the new ios um upgrade so i just like to familiarize myself with new future new features and things as such and sometimes i don't really use the tips but when it comes to my phone as a notification i'll look at it just so like i said i can familiarize myself activity i use a lot uh that's just a track like my calories like moving my exercise and such just to make sure i'm staying active y'all get active is the best way to a healthy life um extras i use nothing in my extras that's why it's just extra school i use quizlet a lot um that's for like notes powerpoints and stuff that you know i saved or people have saved or made I use that to like, help me study. Files, I wouldn't even really put that with my school. It's kind of like a all, like a general area. It probably could go on utilities because with my files, I have like things that are on my MacBook. If I don't have my MacBook with me, I can go to my files and pull it up because it's in the cloud or I can, um, I save like my fonts for Fonto. 
I'll save them to my files folder and I can just access it there. So files is pretty universal. It ain't just for school. Games. Okay. If I have any game that I would say I would play the most is PUBG. I'm like that. Add me, JJ. All the rest of these games, my brother downloaded. If he has my phone, he downloads something. So, yeah, I don't even bother with that folder, honestly. Unless it's PUBG. Business. Business is business. ADP, y'all. Uh, that's a great app. Um, If your job, like, utilizes, like, um, if your job uses electronic pay stubs, ADP is good for that. And also, you can get your W-2s on there. And it could be electronically sent. So, when test time comes around, you could just pull it up. Save trees, y'all. Electronic is the way to go. Turbo, I use that to like track my uh, credit score back in the day, but it only updates once a month. So that's what I kind of didn't like about it. So I don't really use it as much, but I will go from it time to time. And also with Turbo, if you use Turbo to file your taxes, you can look at like the status of your taxes through that Turbo app. So that's a cool thing. Mint, y'all, if y'all need like a budget that you have to set, you're trying to stick to a certain budget, or you want to um, pull in like how much you're spending in X amount of accounts or whatever, Mint is that for you. Mint has where you can create budgets and manage your expenses. You can also pull in from um, like bills, like a credit card bill or a cable bill. You can link your account and it will alert you when that bill is due oh, and also the bills tab like tells you like how much you have to do for the month it's really cool it's very useful if you need help setting a budget or anything like that sort i would recommend the mint app i do use bank of america's budgeting but it only budgets like for what i have spent already for the month but with mint the difference is i can set like a pre budget and it works that way Credit Karma. If y'all not checking out credit, what are you doing? Get your credit right, y'all. We need credit for almost everything that we use. Having good credit is essential. And if you don't have good credit, familiarize yourself with what it takes to get it. Learn, familiarize, check it, check it. Checking it is the first step. And then you can start making the necessary improvements, y'all. Just do it, check your credit check it groceries for coupons and then see what's on sale and compare deals roku that's a really cool app um i basically use it for my tvs that i have um if i need to type in something y'all know that little small little keyboard that pops up on the screen say i want to type in save the last dance i'm not about to keep scrolling to each letter i'll just go to roku app it'll ask me like what tv i'm on and i could just type in save the last dance or sometimes it also gives you like free subscription like free trials my bad it gives you free trials like hbo showtime stars like for a little bit of time sometimes a week maybe a month that's really cool and they i think they have free movies on roku on the roku experience app or oh, that's actually on the roku tv education uh this is the brush up on my second language um I would say my most used is Busu. Busu is really good. I do not have the VIP membership, but I do use it from time to time. Uh, I was also trying to learn French at one point. So that's why I have that. Uh, Duolingo lets you learn as many languages as you want, or I think it's, I think it's as many languages as you want. So Duolingo is kind of cool to have, but they were sending me way too many notifications at once. And I kind of like backed away and it's i don't it's a good app but it's, i don't know duolingo's kind of cartoony-ish if that makes sense busu kind of gives me a more real world experience so i'm better at the busu but yeah that's my second page i only have two pages so that's what's on my iphone if you guys like this comment like it and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post weekly videos that you will love. You won't regret it. Just let me know what you want to see. And I got you. Thank y'all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I will see y'all in my next video. Deuces.